can see uh, with the the total diameter, including the sediment, which looks to me like it's been dug from subsurface, is just under 10 centimeters or about 10 centimeters. There we go. You can see what Mike means. They're elongated holes. They're not oh, perfectly yeah. round. They're no, elongate. But that, but that looks like a, definitely a, a deep hole. Yep. So Ken Sulak had said that the chimeras have powerful jaws that project ventrally, so below the head, and are probably incorporate suction as well. So he could see them making these kind of holes, and he says skates do something similar. Um, so, uh, pilot, just to confirm, so we're waiting for you to have enough tether to move along this, is that correct? Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Well, uh, actually, I think what I'd like you to do is move over it and then tilt more down so we can look more into the hole. Yep. Thanks. I don't think it's going to happen, but the, the, what we're curious about is can we see anything in a hole that might tell us that's making the hole? Uh, let's see, new hypothesis. Les Watling says, my guess is the linear holes are made by a burrowing crustacean. These are the periodic vents, meaning a crustacean that's burrowing subsurface and then every once in a while creates an opening to the surface, I believe is what he's saying. Axeid shrimp make burrow holes of this type. It's really great to get all these experts together, mm -hmm. uh, help them figure out what this is. But it is peculiar to have the holes in such a straight line. Yeah, unless and, and the regularity we, of the yeah, spacing. Very regular, and we've seen several of them, and you know, Mike's published on them. They're always these very long straight lines. I mean, the lines may be curving, but it's clearly in a regular row. Hmm. The holes themselves have some elongation, like almost. Yeah, see, it's, is that it's hard to tell if it's from the tilt or, it, but it almost looks like. They're not cylindrical. It's not. It's not like the sprockets of some kind of a wheel of a trawl, right? Nobody's going to be trawling way down here. I mean, that that's it does look like sprockets. Yeah, so. that looks rectangular to me. Yeah, very, very rectangular. And pretty deep. They're almost um, blade-like. Instead of yeah, that, that rectangle. Well, yeah, that one is like the one before that was rectangular more. Okay. It seems like they have some. Do you have the lasers on? Yeah, we did when we first got here, Mike. Okay. The lasers showed that the mounds that you see were 10 centimeters across. And so the whole... Wait, we can turn the lasers. Can we turn yeah, the lasers back I think, on? I think they're still on. It's oh, just, just we're zooming in so much. Yeah, yeah I mean, look how... Look, That's yeah. the fresh one that you're looking at right now. Yeah, look how... Um, and I, I just had to guess at the size because uh, our lasers weren't working on it. Here, here, all right, well, well, here are the lasers, and, yeah, those are much more rectangular than I assumed. Uh, yeah, yeah this, that's a very fresh track there. Yep. Oh, yeah. The, I mean, looking in the hole, it looks like something just punched it. Well. It looks like a big wheel to me, <laughs> I mean, except that there's no continuity from it, one to the next. It looks fresh, so when in doubt, go to the beginning of it and go to the end of it. Yeah. I think the closer one is the fresher part. The fresher part. They're filled, in, in. filled over there. Yeah. So I think we're at the freshest end. You could just zoom down as much as possible into it. I think we... The hole at the end. And yeah, I think we did that on that first hole, Mike. Okay. We tried that before and didn't see anything. Yep. Yeah. I love a mystery, but I'd like to have an answer. 
Now, I think let's uh, let's move on for our last few minutes here. Yeah, I feel like let's uh, let's just get to the top so we can say we we made it. Yep. 